welcome to game day parts and today i am going to show you how i save my scene how i save my variables and scene uh, using godot uh, basically i am going to show you two methods one in which i save my game using variable and other using packaging basically you can use both method and i will also tell you some benefits of using safe scene using pack scene it's quite easy and i hope you're gonna like this video and i will also post my script in my github repository uh, link is in the description so let's start first of all you need to create some variables i usually save my scene in global singleton uh, there where i create my global variables uh, in like scope gold coin current health man etc etc then you can create a global dictionary to save a save dictionary in which you want to save your variable uh, like uh, this one i use it to save my text thing basically if you are creating a two or more variables then you can uh, save this in a variable otherwise you can use a constant over global uh, because this location is going to be same every time uh, you don't need to create this variable here and i save my unlock level like this uh, i create uh, indexes using string because uh, when you get your json back into the godot uh, you get it in string format uh, that's why you need to create uh, the string I even do this because when I save my scene online uh, when I get back that JSON it's also in is in string format that's why I prefer this method so to save a scene you need to first update your variable if you are directly use this uh, it will store the initialized value uh, when the script is initialized because it has not got updated that's why you need to first update your variable then you need to create a variable your file uh, dot new this will open your file you, uh, you need this to open your file which you have stored locally uh, then open it using this save.game.open the location to your save file and then open it with file.write permission you can even use a more secure method using open and encrypt it with pass uh, and open it with file.write permission and with your uh, unique id device unique id OS get device unique id then create another variable which is dictionary uh, this is uh, a secure method to save your json format uh, that's why i usually create dictionary here and store player data dictionary and save it and then close it closing is very important <laughs> how to load your game it's similar to save game just you need to first check if the directory exists and save similarly to above just open just create a file dot new uh, name it anything then check if the directory exists basically your save location then open it with this or this encrypted file I note this here you need file dot treat permission wait then store that and then store that json into your another variable i named it save one which is a dictionary then uh, here you need to pass json basically read json file as a text or anything uh, there are another methods too dot dot get it as a text buffer something something whatever you feel comfortable with whatever you know i i just get it as a text or sometimes si 
or some time at the format then close that file and store that JSON variables into your global variable note your JSON variable is a string you need to convert it into your another variables or the global variables like integer or string or dictionary and it will save your it will load your JSON format into the current game uh, so here this is what it's gonna look like if you are saving this it will fit this on it same 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 and if you update anything while playing the game this house and then run it basically in game it will update your JSON file and now towards pack scene saving your games using pack scene so this simple script save your this simple function save your game in a pack scene basically creating a variable with a pack scene and a directory you can clear it up KD scene I am using type script method create pack scene then create directory then and pack your current scene into your variable using dot pack get tree dot get current scene and then save it using this source saver check if the directory exits remove the old file and save the new file using this resource saver dot save location to your file and that variable which is this this will save your game in your uh, scene so benefit of using this method that is that you can save state of your game state of a character or enemy at any time for example if I create state dot run dot hide um, basically if I create a node a node that node needs to be a uh, one which have got visibility option if you create using this uh, or find using the control control has got visibility method but this white node has not got the visibility method so this thing helps you to determine the state for example if I hide uh, basically if I hide its visibility and save the scene it will save it like that here it is created it has created a new scene and when I load okay something has got okay something has got yep in, so this is how it saved and this is the original scene um, using the pack scene you can save this state uh, here uh, when you can attach a new script and check uh, and check the um, visibility in ready function or like for example state dot run uh, and so if set or visible if I switch to do something using this uh, you can save states or and it even save your location um, globally it even save your location in the tree structure uh, you can just use this icon for example here 
if this is the original game if I change this icon here and save it it will save the scene it will save this icon location and note that it won't going to save the variable if you create any script uh, over here and save it it won't, won't going to save the variable of the script only the node location node data and basically you will only save this method not your script variables so that's all for today's video i hope you like this so please like share and subscribe and follow my channel for the next video until then enjoy